Um, hello again. Um, I'm going to be talking about Moodle integration in the next few minutes. Um, Moodle, uh, just to make sure everybody is on the same page, is uh, basically uh, the most popular open source uh, learning uh, platform that there is. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's actually um, quite popular in, in schools and universities where um, the, uh, both the teachers and the students are able to uh, uh, group themselves around curricula, uh, material, and obviously documents and videos and so on. And this is where um, collaborative um, editing or indeed just the ability to uh, create documents, edit them and share them becomes um, extremely useful. Um, before um, moving on, I should uh, highlight that um, I am presenting the work of um, uh, others who have been very helpful in making the integration of uh, Collabora Online uh, within the Moodle ecosystem um, a reality. Uh, I will uh, get back to them and thank them again um, soon. Uh, briefly, the, uh, uh, the ability to edit documents uh, within Moodle uh, is not limited to text only. Obviously, uh, we support uh, uh, presentations as well as uh, uh, spreadsheets. And um, as you can see, all of them are supported. Um, a better view, uh, uh, especially for those who aren't familiar with the Moodle uh, platform, is, uh, is, is visible on the screen. And you can see uh, basically that um, uh, where you have on the left and on the top, the course material and the organization of the material as the um, instructor uh, so fit, um, you can see that the document itself is embedded within uh, the structure of the course. So there, the, the essentially wherever a document is um, is, is shared or added, um, it can also be um, edited on the spot, embedded in the page. And you can see also the settings on the um, right menu uh, where the uh, uh, primarily the, the instructors, the teachers, and the admins um, are able to have advanced um, settings. Um, but of course, uh, for the viewer and editor, uh, full features are available, and we'll see very briefly how that works. Uh, behind the scenes, there are really two plugins uh, that make um, all of this magic um, happen. One of them is the, uh, the, the main um, uh, module uh, that is responsible for embedding the document and the document editing within the page. That's the mode Collabra. Um, and the other one is the assign submission um, uh, plugin, which is responsible for controlling um, access rights and assignments and, and um, that kind of thing. Um, we were just uh, talking about, um, uh, you know, giving uh, uh, others permission to edit and write uh, to a document. And this is, this is exactly um, what happens in this case as well, where uh, the, uh, the teacher or the instructor has the full ability to control um, who can edit w which document. Um, one of the use cases for this could be um, to allow, allow the uh, class uh, to collaborate on a document or indeed to have them uh, individually visible um, for quizzes and tests and homeworks and things like that. Um, all of this is, is fairly straightforward to install. Um, on the uh, Moodle side, it's just the plugins. And on the um, uh, Collabra uh, online side, there are multiple solutions for uh, the back end uh, that can get uh, somebody up and running in, in very, you know, very short uh, period of time using uh, containers uh, like Dockers and, and so on. All of this is obviously fully supported here as well. Um, in terms of configuring the plugin, um, there is mainly just a single required uh, setting, which is um, really just the URL to the um, Collabora Online um, service, uh, wh wherever that is running. And uh, basically that um, uh, hooks up the back end to Moodle. Um, so I want to um, take a brief moment to uh, thank 
um, um, all of the individuals who participated in, in um, uh, creating and maintaining the Moodle uh, plugin for Collabora Online um, without their, uh, you know, persistence and hard effort, this wouldn't have happened. Um, and they still um, maintain and um, make sure that new features are added and um, issues are addressed. Uh, so thank, thank you for the community. Um, I'm going to uh, very briefly go over um, the plugin configuration just to get a, a taste of the features and um, how all of this really works very well uh, on the Moodle platform. Um, uh, first of all, uh, one would need to add uh, the uh, collaborative document um, um, as an activity um, so that to make it available. Um, and once that is done, um, there is uh, the ability to um, control uh, the permissions um, and the features that are available uh, to the users um, that can also be configured on a, a more granular um, level. Uh, beyond that, a document uh, uh, typically uh, is locked for editing unless um, it is uh, unlocked by the teacher um, to allow others to edit the document and thereby uh, essentially make it a um, writable document and not just view only. Um, this is the very important uh, uh, because in, in, in many cases uh, there are reading material that is shared that one wouldn't want it to be edited either accidentally or intentionally, but in other cases um, the document is specifically to get input from the students um, rather than uh, reading material to share with them. Uh, the uh, assign uh, submission plugin um, is uh, also highly configurable in that uh, one can um, uh, assign documents and can specify uh, the uh, file types that are um, acceptable um, and other um, relevant detail, thereby making um, the interface uh, a little bit more friendly and restricting uh, what is expected and what is acceptable. The as I said, the integration is um, uh, fairly straightforward, um, and this is really important because from um, a uh, user's perspective who is trying to integrate uh, something like the uh, cool service within the Moodle framework, uh, what they would really like is the ability to do this um, as a drop-in um, uh, sort of a service. And uh, for that, having a, a, a container uh, just to get you up and running and to do a proof of concept is really trivial. You just download a Docker image from our website um, and um, really um, uh, link uh, the Moodle plugin with the URL and off you are, you're pretty much um, up and running. And this is um, obviously a, a very uh, important uh, trait just to get people started and um, get a quick taste of um, uh, the cool features. Um, and thank you for listening, and I'll take questions in the Q&A section. Q&A section. Thank you.